I want to treat people how I would want to be treated. And when you work for a good company, you know, like I said, uh, uh, I worked for another company for a while and then I got out of the business and then I got back into working and I came to this company to interim health care because of the reputation it had. It was nationwide. You know, it was Medical Personnel Pool of America, you know, the heroes of America. That was the, the slogan. And you, they just had a good reputation. I knew that this company, before I came here, I knew all the people that worked here. I knew the, the tenure of people. You're talking people that stay here, even in my department. I've got people that have been here 24, 25 years. And in my staff, I have a very, very low turnover. And people, they're either afraid to quit or they really do like their job. I think it's there's a commitment when you start, you, you're, you develop a family atmosphere. And there's a, there's a, you know, you can get involved in people's personal lives too, but there's still, there's still that respect. If they know that this is how I want things done, I'm open to suggestions, but then I let people think for themselves too. And then that makes them feel good. When I started in home health, I think I learned a lot about uh, to being engaging my employees when I started going out actually into a patient's home and starting because I knew I had to get engaged the family, if you want to use that word. I had to get everybody involved to take care of that person. And then I started learning, you know, when you're working in a home health environment, you don't have someone, you've got people above you, you know, you've got supervisors or you have the CEO of a company, you know, looking after you or telling you what to do. But what I noticed with me is people left me alone and they were like, Vicki, this is your department. These are your people. Same with when I came here. This is your department. This is your people. You figure out what you're going to do to make it work. And when I, when I first came here, you know, I saw, I thought, man, I'm going to be in a group of people that have been here a long time. These people are a family. And you just felt that family atmosphere. And I thought, you know, interim health care is franchised. So it's almost like that our headquarters knows exactly, I'm sure there have been mistakes made where they've maybe given an agency or let someone buy an agency that didn't need to. But I saw that this particular agency already had the foundation. So talk about being blessed. This was an agency that had people that were already engaged in the sense that they knew they were going to work for the betterment of the company because the owner at that time, how he treated them. So now I've looked, you know, when we got purchased in 2007, you know, everybody got worried, everybody got scared what's going to happen. And so everybody at first was like, I thought nothing's going to change. There may be some policies and procedures that will change, but we're still all, all going to be together.